Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ale Kamenova Yoga. I'm Ali and today we're doing a 20 minute strength and flex class and we're gonna be using a set of dumbbells. So remember to flow with strength and knees. Starting with the feet stepping wider than hip width apart. You can point your toes slightly out, spread the toes open and begin to shift side to side, activating your connection with the earth and each leg at a time, each foot at a time. Feel the feet, feel the legs. <sighs> Deepen the breath. Let's add a little reach here side to side. And let's swing the arms side to side, which also warms up the torso. This is a full body class, full body strength and flex. Let's draw a few circles with the arms backwards, forward hands on the knees, direct your toes forward and let's draw a few circles with the knees, change the direction, grab your big toes, open the feet out, squat down and straighten, squat down, straighten, squat down, straighten, squat down, straighten, squat down, straighten, straighten the back, natural curve in the lower back and the entire spine really and come up. Let's repeat that so that whenever you are bending forward, you are creating this habit of keeping the natural curve in the spine, which strengthens the back muscles, the hamstrings and the glutes. So that lift, you can keep a slight bend in the knees. This is really important if for nothing else, we're creating a proper, proper habit. All right, hands behind, interlacing, press the hands away from you, soften the shoulders, lift through the crown of the head, pull the belly in. And step near a wall or a door, door would work as well, anywhere where you have a little opening, flat surface and press your hips into, into the wall, press your heels into the wall, straighten the toes forward, shoulders touching the wall, so you have three points of contact here and you're gonna reach over the head, hands touching the wall, again everything is touching the wall, the shoulders the hips and the heels. Clasp and reach to one side as far as you can without removing anything from the wall. Lengthen back to center, opposite side. This ensures that you are keeping everything in the same dimension. You can actually go a little deeper here. Yet more. <laughs> Yum. It is a delicious pose. Great. Coming out of this, you should feel blood rushing. Take a nice squat stance here and we're gonna touch the floor and come up. Touch the floor, come up. Touch the floor, come up. Touch the floor, come up, stick the body back and really press through the heels as you come up. One, two, three, four, five, great. Now walk up to your weights and grab one of your dumbbells and lower down, come up. Now the most important thing here is to not to keep the alignment of the lower back. So 
if you find yourself <laughs> rounding the back at the end of the move on the bottom then just go a little higher and don't go as deep in the squat if you can go deep in the squat great so explore your range of motion <sighs> press through the heels Now we're gonna grab the weight with one hand lower and lift, lower and lift, lower and lift. Press through the heel, lift, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Change sides, one, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Carefully lower the weights and bring them on the sides. Step back into plank and step your feet out for balance and we're gonna lift one side and then the other one two three four pull the belly in five six seven eight nine ten jump your feet at the front load your weights onto your shoulders come up press up lower down jump back jump to the front load lift those are dumbbell burpees Step at the front, bring your weights down to the, by the hips, we're gonna step back, biceps, curl flex, change, and let's go, one, keep your elbows steady, two, three, no swinging, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, 19, 20, and step your feet out, pointing forward. And here, feel free to skip the weights. We're gonna do a deadlift. Stiff leg, but keep a mouth bent in the knees. So lower down and come up. You really wanna keep the curvature of the spine here. So when you lower, you still see the curvature of the spine. It's a powerful move if performed properly. Otherwise, just perform it with no weights up until you develop the strength for it. Let's go one, two, Fire up the glutes. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Step at the front. Load your weights onto your shoulders. Step back and come up. Press up. 
step back, same side, press up. Two, three, four, make it into one smooth move. Five, squeeze and flex. Seven, eight, nine, ten, opposite side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! You can double up your weights, take sumo squat alignment, so in between plie and squat and pose here, one, two, straight back again, that's the most important thing, <sighs> pressing into the outer and inner edges of the feet, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's stretch, hands on the hips, reaching side to side, try to keep everything in one dimension, the way we did on the wall, that was your training in body awareness, awareness in space, where you are positioned, where you are, sometimes, especially when we're we all grow up with so much shame, especially about the body, the physical. We completely disconnect from the body. And it happens in classes. When you call a pose as a teacher, everything's all over the place. Straight feet can look like this. Hip width can look like this. So we just disconnect from the body and we're trying to pull that awareness back into the body, into in here, so we're connected, we feel it, we are here, we are in the body, we're appreciating it, we're grateful for it, rather than just this ugh, yuck stuff, no, we love it just the way it is, and we deepen our relationship with it every time we come on the mat, a few more stretches, sorry about the lyrical, pause, Switching side to side. And grab one weight. And we're going to, this again, you can perform it with no weights. It's a one legged deadlift. So, warrior three, think warrior three. Level the hips, square the hips, flex the back foot, lower down, and come up. You have to keep the spinal curvature. Lower back is curved, so no rounding anywhere. Two. Level the hips, three. So you're not looking like this. You are leveling them. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Flex the body. Eight. Nine. 10, opposite side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. hold on to your weight, and you can You can grab the weight with the right, with the right hand, step your right foot forward, press into the back heel, bend the back knee slightly. Strong position here, you can bend the front knee and we'll lift one, two, three, four to the side, five, really power the shoulder muscle. You can keep the weight 
slightly in front of the body. Six, seven, eight, nine. And you can bend the elbow. The more you bend it, the easier it gets. So if it's here, it's a little easier. If you straighten it, the weight is a little more. Four, five, six, law of physics, of course. Seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're going to grab the weight with the palms of the hands. Down, lift in front of you, hold, 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 hold. Slowly lower down, lift, lower down, lift, lower down, lift, lower down, lift and hold, lower down, lower the weights down, bring them back into your plank alignment. Step back in plank, step your feet out, and here we're gonna bring the elbow into the rib cage, close, straighten and change. Triceps extensions. And release. Sit down right knee on the floor left ankle on the outside reach with the right hand up cross it and look behind you lengthen through the crown of the head and the opposite side Soles of the feet together. <sighs> Open here. Butterfly pose. Release. Step your left foot at the front. Walk your right knee back. You can come up and stretch here. Look up. and change sides step at the front yogic squat so this requires the flexibility of all lower body joints of all the lower body muscles and joints so especially joints so work at it Hands on the floor, straighten the back, press through the heels, straighten, straight back, come up. So, good job. Worked on alignment today. Hands over the heart, big breath in through the heart. One more time. And let's bow to our hearts for their forgiveness, compassion, and love. Thank you all for joining me today for this class. Come on over to my website because June, we're doing fame series. It's inspired by Andy Warhol. So it's a 30 day of a new class each and every day. Inspired by Andy Warhol, who said that in the future, everybody will get their 15 minutes of fame. I say we'll get our 15 minutes of yoga and we'll work on archetypes. So we're gonna explore a different archetype, famous archetype in each and every class. Examples. Some of them are actually so inspiring that it's a whole subject on its own, such as the, the, the queen, the crone, the DJ. There is controversial archetypes. There is the slave, the Superman, the artist, and so forth. It's just going to be a lot of fun. And it's gonna give us food for thought as well as a daily practice each and every day, 15 minutes and you're done. And we're gonna vary the activity level, vary the focus of the class. So it's gonna keep being interesting, quick, and 
something for the mind, something for the heart, something for the body. So I'll see you there. And I'll also see you here every Wednesday with a new class for our summer schedule. We're just going to do Wednesdays and Sunday will drop off, but I'll be every single day on the website. So come on over and we'll resume the schedule after the summer. Thank you all for joining me today. And remember the world is strength and ease.